Hold it, hold it. Okay, I am here. So today we are going to be reacting to scary anima animations part one, all right? So here if I type in la ma, I guess, I don't know if that's how they spell it, but all right, okay, they put two L's, all right. Oh gosh, okay, one hour ago? Yeah, let's watch it, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Hold up. Uh. Introducing Jimmy Dean Morning Combos. Okay. They're bite-sized. I'm kind of tickled to say that. Okay, no, forget that. All right. Forget to it. Mmm. Okay, I'm ready. Creepy neighborhood horror story. Okay. This happened in 2009. We would fly from our home state in California to Minnesota to visit my father's family for the summer. I've always enjoyed it there because of the nature and peaceful atmosphere. My father's family lived far from the nearest town and he only had two neighbors. My oh. only friend there was a girl who lived next door. Uh -huh. Let's call her Morgan. Okay. She's around my Morgan, age Morgan, 40 people. me, my sister and her would always play from sunrise to sunset. One day at around 4 p.m., we were outside playing badminton. My sister hit the birdie too hard, and it landed in the next door neighbor's yard. Oh, no. Morgan said she had more inside her house and went to get them. I felt uncomfortable leaving it there, so I told my sister I'll go get it myself. She told me not to do it, just wait for Morgan. While my sister was fixing the net, I decided to run and get it real quick. Oh. As I was about to enter the gate, my sister grabbed me from behind oh. and began telling me how much of a bad idea it was. Okay. That's when an old man came out from behind the house. Oh, no. He oh. picked up the birdie and said, Is this yours? Oh, I said you. yes and asked if I could have it back. He said he had his grandchildren's old toys upstairs and asked if we wanted to have them. Me and my sister were very young at the time, and we thought as he lived so close, and he looked like a typical sweet grandfather, what's the worst that could happen? So we agreed, and entered oh. through the back door. Oh. The first thing I noticed was the stench. It smelled of damp and rotting food. I shrugged it off at the time, since he was old. Maybe he lived alone. Oh. We heard Morgan calling our names, and we politely told the old man that we had to go. Maybe we'd return tomorrow. Morgan saw us through the window and immediately asked what we were doing there. I answered, the sweet old man, and she cut me off and said that the house was abandoned since she moved there. I thought she was just playing around with me and told no. her to cut it out. She had a blank expression. That's when I knew that she was serious. We never told anyone because we didn't want to cause any trouble. But now that I'm older, I wonder if it was some ghost or creepy old man luring kids into that house. The house got demolished recently, which is why I wanted to share this story. Oh, heck no! Well, that's part one. Alright guys, I'm back with another one. Okay, let's see how this is gonna be. Oof. Start. It was a cold, foggy evening when I contacted a close friend of mine to stay in my place for the night. Okay. Both of us were only 10 years old at the time, and my parents were often at work until midnight. So mm -hmm. I was usually alone with nothing to do except watching a television show or reading a book. Me? Okay. My friend Alex had agreed to come over and brought a game of Monopoly to pass out of the time. I also asked if he was interested in going to explore an abandoned subway station three miles away. He seemed excited at first, so we planned to go on the trip in the morning. Idiots. I remembered that the subway dated back to the mid-1920s and became abandoned in 1932 after the market crash in 1929. Okay, I was very fascinated about its history, but never got the chance to go inside after my parents had warned me not to enter. E. As I quietly slept in my bed, I heard what sounded like a gunshot coming from the forest behind the house. Both oh. of us woke up, frightened after what we had heard, and oh. I told my friend not to worry, as hunters tend to go into the forest on frequent occasions, but when I checked the time, it was 11.39pm. This seemed very unusual, as hunters only came into the forest between 8pm and 10pm. 
Mm -hmm. I looked at Alex and decided to get out of my bed, intending to look through the window and spot for anyone in the forest. Okay. The darkness clouded my vision, so I was unable to see anyone oh, in the forest. No, no don't jump I scared, turned around please. and looked at Alex again, when suddenly I heard the front door squeak open. Oh. Chills went down my spine. No. I was quietly moved to the bathroom, oh my gosh, locked you guys the door, oh. and kept the light off. It was the only safe place in the house. Both of oh, us were terrified no. as we desperately oh, tried no, I'm to keep scared. as calm uh -uh. as we could. <laughs> We heard footsteps getting louder and louder well, you guys until better we stopped block that in front door. of the bathroom door. And then this is when the most terrifying sound forced my heart to almost uh -uh. burst. Both of us oh. screamed as the person chopped the door to pieces. It was pitch black oh. inside the room, making it hard to find the vent. And by the time I spotted the vent, the person behind the door had made a hole big enough for us to see him. Oh my gosh. The man adorned black leather and was wearing a plague doctor mask. Okay. I scurried back to the vent, but it was too high above the floor for us to reach it. So Alex told me to go first because he was the strongest. He lifted me up on his shoulders, allowing me to oh. open the vent and crawl inside. When I looked at the door again, the man had managed to fit his arm through the hole and reached for the lock. I quickly oh. grabbed Alex's hand and struggled to pull him up into the Grab vent. Grab it! No! Alex! You little... I shouted oh. and began going after him. I pursued the figure until I was led to the abandoned subway deep within the forest. It was chilly and foggy, meaning that I could only see objects within a range of five or six yards. Oh, that sucks. Inside the subway was a pool of freezing cold water. Uh -uh. It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. I had to rely on listening to the screams from Alex and track the source. As I slowly walked through the subway, I was now struggling to breathe under the intense stress and fear of the situation. Alex! I called, mm -hmm. but there was no response. I continued walking through the water until the exit was no longer visible. I was now experiencing oh, no. a massive panic attack. I had lost track of Alex, and I had no idea where I was or how to get out. Oh. Where are you, Alex? No. Wait, you're telling me he never found him? No. No. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description. All right, guys. I guess that's going to be it for the video. Peace.